Hi guys, some of you told me you want more Windows stuff, so I have something for you here if you like to type a lot. Because I just found this app yesterday, it is called Write Exclamation Mark. It is not really much more than a text editor, but a really wonderful one. Very minimalistic, but still offering a lot of features. Here it is in the windowed mode, for some reason it doesn't snap. So either you go windowed mode, drag it to the size you want yourself, or just go full window mode, which I would use actually, because the great thing about this word editor is it is completely distraction free as you can see there's only the text and nothing distracting you at all this is something that i really like a lot as you can see here it is really well done and let's switch to the dark theme here making it easier on the eyes here on the video what i would wish for a black theme yet i will make a suggestion here for the development team to maybe change it but let's quickly check what we've got here here of course we have the hamburger menu up at the top you can see file with new document open import save export move from cloud because if you re re join in right now you get a premium pass for until i think it was november end of november which gives you all the pro features which will come soon because there are a lot of options they want to implement yet still missing but i have all i need also for edit you can see the typical ones for view hide navigation bar show presets bar cloud panel switch to the light theme collapse all paragraphs expand all graphs switch to windowed mode for the tools we have spell checker on and off turn markup on and off spell checker dictionary cloud you can log out renew your subscription and for help you find actions if we enter the settings we will see the followings in general you can change the color of the cursor you can change the width of the cursor you can also change here the theme enable and disable context tooltips one thing that is really nice under window layout you find the typewriter scrolling there is bottom 50 percent from the bottom 30 percent from the bottom and center this means whenever you type your text where you type will always stay in the middle this is really nice because you don't have to move with your eyes which is really making this direction less of a problem at least for me i like it a lot you can also hide the tabs in full screen and here you have insert new paragraph with enter or shift enter for the writing tools, you can trigger autocomplete after three symbols or after and take the limit to eight words, which is definitely more than enough. Relevancy also, alphabet or relevancy, I prefer relevancy because the more you type, the more it learns what you type. It will suggest these words, which makes typing a lot faster and easier for, in my experience. Also, markup syntax, text, Wikipedia and so on. For the spell checking, you can enable certain languages or just all or none. That is pretty much it. Let's check one thing. If you want to know how autocomplete works, because I didn't at first. If you see, for example, here, it shows me release and I didn't really know how to trigger it. Just hit the tabulator button and it will do all you have to, as you can see here, complete. And it does what it has to. This has been done really nice. It works very reliable and it really learns the more you write. It did suggest me all the words that I wanted to see. What you also get is if you mark a word, you get right click options. As you can see here for the markdown, bold, light, italic, underline, strike through, uppercase, lowercase. Also here for the titles, you can change those as well. Here you can change the colors. Here you can, which is really nice if you want to, for some a specific word, you can Google it up, translate it, go to Wikipedia or search for a thesaurus. Of course, this works for everything you have selected. And you can also change the language you want for the auto spell. The auto spell here, as you can see also, if you go above what you will see a small ABC to appear, click that and it will give you a few suggestions with what it thinks you wanted to write actually. This is really nice, as you can hear, selfie. And what you can also do, add it to the dictionary because you know this verse wasn't written wrong. That is really nice. Also, if you, for example, go to F8, you get different presets here, which are really nice. You can also see them here in the preview, how they look. And if you, for example, hit it, you will see a different formatting. So default, default large, and also all that. Also really nice, there are a lot of key shortcuts to access all those things. And here at the bottom, you can see another nice thing. Because here you can see what you plan on type, maybe. Here you can see tweet. If you want to write a tweet, something social, an email. As you can see here as well, article, short story narrative or if you want even to write the book and the really nice thing is what it actually does is also it counts your words you can also change that and make a limit you can change a lot of things as you can see here count the characters spaces reading time that all has been done really really nice you can set a limit 
where it, that, that you doesn't that you don't want to exceed while writing you see the reading time which is really nice because sometimes you have a lot of text and you have no clue how long would it actually take for someone to read it of course this always depends on how fast the person reads but it is an average here two hours uh, two minutes you also see how many a4 pages it would be how many character spaces words and all that so you see it is a really minimal because we have no distraction here word document processor but it offers a lot we have autocomplete we have spell checking we have the thesaurus and all that we have the markup options we have color options so you can do pretty much all you would want from a really powerful word editor but still staying distracted or not not getting distracted at no point in time i really found it to be useful also cloud sync was useful because the document i have here i have now where i have it installed on all of my devices once i'm logged in you can of course use it offline as well maybe this will be i think this will be a premium feature in the future but that's not a big problem for me but I really, really like it. And if you like to type a lot, this definitely makes typing, at least for me, a lot more enjoyable because it is just way more cleaner and you see what you write, nothing in the background or so. So that's why I like it a lot. There are maybe a few little bugs like the snapping feature that doesn't work yet. And I saw them saying they are trying to implement a lot more features in the future because this is still an early beta or like an early build and a lot will change in the future, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. If it isn't too expensive, I'm definitely thinking about getting a premium account as well. Okay, so this was my kind of review of right exclamation mark. I will link it down in the description below to check it out for you. Okay, until next time, bye.